Fire Talk, the live event, live video broadcasting platform where you and up to three other people can sit there and broadcast yourselves and share your screen and engage and interact and build your audience and all that different types of stuff. Anyway, I'm sure you're familiar with this concept by now, but what's this platform? How do you sign up? How do you get logged in? That's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. Thanks a lot. And let's dive right in. Firetalk.com. That link's going to be in the description down below. What do you do? Well, if you've never signed up for a Firetalk account, go to sign up. Hey, that's easy. Choose uh, using your Facebook, your Google, or your Twitter as the means to authorize and sign up and build an account. Once you do that, you can log in. I've already logged in, so I'm going to go ahead and get in, and bam, you are at your actual home page for FireTalk. First off, I want to talk about events, and there's a difference between my channel and going live, and going live using an event. And so the easiest way to talk about events is click on this link. That's going to be in the description as well. Down below, you can go through talks about connecting a Stripe, building a, or, or creating and connecting a Stripe account. Um, as well as all the different details. Why would you do pay-per-view versus free? It's a great, great article. Let me give a summary though. What is an event? An event is like a webinar. Okay, so it's something special, something unique. You can broadcast up to 90 minutes. You and three other people can join you on camera if you want. Uh, it's always recording, uh, as with any other Fire Talk. Anytime you broadcast, Fire Talk's always recording. Um, you can have up to 500 people attend, and then you can, uh, really that's kind of all that's really unique about it. But anyway, uh, look over it and see what you think. So uh, if you are attending an event, then your homepage will have some what you're attending and the order of which it's going to broadcast. Uh, then you're gonna have some other featured events and featured channels. Let's talk about featured, that word, what does that mean? I don't really know. I don't think it really has any kind of purpose at this time other than the fact that it means somebody you follow is live. So you can see I'm subscribed to these people. They're going to show up first for the channels as well as events. If I was subscribed to somebody, the event that is live would show up first. Otherwise, I think it's just kind of in chronological order for events and then for channels. I, I don't know. Uh, play around with it. See if you broadcast more if you show up on everybody's feature channel or area. So let's go over real quick my profile. My profile, there's your avatar. Uh, you can change that. I'll show you where. That's your uh, username. David Vaughn is what I am known by. And you can put it in your location if you want. Shows the social connections, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus that I have connected, as well as subscriptions. So these are channels that I have subscribed to. And then channel settings. So we're going to edit a uh, good look at editing channel settings as well as the other areas that you can edit. You can either click here at channel settings or you can click on settings from right here. Channel settings. So you can change your avatar. You can change the channel name that you want. So I'm the Entrepreneur's Geek, but if you are Chef Flintstone's Bur uh, Brontosaurus Burgers, then that's exactly what you can put. Your URL. And I'm going to show you where this actually can get changed, but that's what people would use to go directly to your channel. The description, I'm going to show you the difference between my brief description, although I will tell you links are clickable, and somebody who's using a little bit longer description and what their call to actions look like. I'll show you that here in a bit. Subscription settings, anyone can view my channel or require the users to view my channel. They have to subscribe first. I don't know why you would do that, but if that's your choice, you can give it a try. If you're not getting a lot of subscribers, then maybe you need to go back to just allowing anyone to view your channel. Uh, you can list it as public or unlisted. Not sure why you would list it unlisted, but again, that's up to you. Uh, and then some auto information that populates out. Let's go to account. Here is where you can actually change your username if you want. So as long as it's available, you can change your username. And then what would happen is your URL would change as well. Email address, make sure it's a pretty good email address because you do get some email notifications. I'm going to show you what those are. And then your location, hey, let us know where you're at or don't. That's up to you. Notifications, these are what's either emailed to you or notifications through the iOS app. 
these first two, they don't really work. I don't get any kind of notification when someone mentions me in the chat, and I don't get any kind of notification if a social connection, like somebody I'm following on Twitter, all of a sudden creates a Fire Talk channel. I haven't gotten notifications for that. So that's probably stuff that's to come. Channel I've subscribed to goes live. I do get notification for that via the Fire Talk iOS app. I do not get email notifications for that. But when events are going live, I do get email notifications for that. So there's a difference for you. Uh, someone subscribes to my channel, Fire Talk notification. I occasionally get this. I don't always get it. Someone sent me a gift. I don't ever recall seeing notifications for that. And tickets purchased. I can tell you that you do get email notifications for that. So that's why you want to make sure that you provide a good email address, one that you check regular so that you get that type of information. We've already done the channel and social connections, connected accounts, my Facebook, my YouTube, and my Twitter. I'm gonna show you why YouTube is important here now. So let's go to my dashboard. My dashboard, if you've never done any Fire Talk episodes, then your dashboard is going to be blank. But every time that you go live, you are going to have a recording because it always records. They don't always have to be public. People don't always have to have the ability to be able to watch the replay. That's up to you to control. But these always, uh, they always do record. And you get some stats like viewers and subscribers, GIFs, link it to YouTube, public. This is whether or not people can watch the replay or not. You can download each and then you can also delete them if you want. Subscribers, why is this one important? Well, it gives you some nice little information that you can go through, but the big thing is if you do something where you need somebody to help maybe moderate the chat, you know, for inappropriate comments or for particular questions and maybe populate those up to you because you've got lots of chat going on, you can make people a producer. And so a producer, if you hover over the question mark, they can moderate the live chat, they can update the video playlist, and they can post channel updates. I'll show you where channel updates here are in a moment. Playlist. Let's go over that one real quick. Why is the playlist? Now, this is why it's important to link your YouTube account because you can actually take a URL of a playlist that you create on YouTube and put that in here. And then when you're not live, people can actually view the playlist that's going on. So you can do recap, you know, whatever it is that you want to build. I mean, go wild with it. You can do calls to action. You can do banners for, uh, you know, announcements uh, for upcoming events or upcoming episodes or anything. Hey, have fun with it. Do what it is that works for you. And then events, upcoming, I don't have anything scheduled, but you'd see the schedule, tickets available, estimated revenue. If I had a Stripe account connected and it was a pay-per-view event, and then I can modify the event. And past events. Uh, so you can see if you canceled events, the number of tickets that were purchased, did you make anything off of it or were they free, the number of viewers, the number of messages that happened. Is the replay available and then you can also download. Okay, and with all that being said and you are still with me, thank you ever so much. Let's go look at what your channel would, might look like or will look like. Uh, and let's go look at what it looks like to go live. I, th I think I said look and look like too much. Uh, so this is a good demonstration of the playlist. Yes, even you get to see your playlist running. But as you can see, if you monetize your videos on YouTube, then the ads do work still. The rest of it is, as you can see, you got your channel information over here, which you can edit your channel information if you want. You can see that brief description. That is a live clickable link. So if somebody were to click it, then it would actually take them to whatever destination you set. The number of GIFs, I'll talk about GIFs in a second. The live chat that goes on, on your channel, the live chat's always there. It's, it's like the last, I don't know, 100, between 150 and 200 comments that you had, those are what show up. The number of uh, the viewers that you have, and then you can uh, go look at who the viewers are that are in there. GIFs. So GIFs are kind of like props or hearts on Periscope or likes and, and whatever other thing Facebook Live has. That's what a gift is. It's, it's just kind of a warm, fuzzy thing. It doesn't cost anything. You don't, uh, you don't get any monetary value. Uh, it, it's just kind of something fun to put in. So you can see that you know, there are probably 16 different options that people can do. I like the, there's a hamster that's got 3D glasses on it. He's called Hammy. I, he's kind of cool. I like him. And then on your channel, you can control the volume for when you're watching. There's the link to share. You can also tweet it and Facebook share it out. You can manage your playlist for your videos from YouTube. And then some other brief statistics. Channel updates, you can populate things in here like, hey, go to this link here. 
So uh, links are not clickable over here, but they are clickable in the chat. Let's go live real quick. So when you go live, it's going to initiate your webcam, which you can't see it initiate my webcam. You do have to name your episode. You can also say that you want to share it out to Twitter and you can share it out to Facebook if you want. Click that, your, your URL uh, for people to get to your channel, and then you go live. And then here's what happens if I was logged into Twitter, I could tweet this out. Screen share. Let's talk about screen share real quick. So you can share your screen. A little bit of matrix effect, but that's what happens. You can see that I went down in the corner over here, and if there were other people broadcasting with me as well, they would actually be lined up all next to me. And then that's that. The other parts that are here is, you know, if we had viewers, you could go see the viewers. But everything else is kind of the same. Now this icon right here, people, you can either invite someone on. So if, let's say, Durham Skyrider was here, then I could invite the guest to be on. She's not here right now. I can also ban her, but be careful about that because I don't know how you get them out of ban jail. And then she could go through. Or there's a camera icon that's right here, and I'll show you that in a minute from a viewer's perspective. Uh, perspective, an attendee, uh, there's a camera icon that they can click and say, hey, I want to be a guest. The thing about the camera icon when they click it is that they can only click it once, and I'll show you what I mean. But you'll get, if they click that icon, then up here you will get however many people are requesting to be on camera, that will increment to that number, so one, two, three, four, whatever. And then you'll also see an avatar of the people that want to come on. And that's kind of it for here, so let's end this broadcast. And then for your ending broadcast, uh, you get a brief summary of the uh, title, the length of time, the viewers, the gifts, the messages, and then do you want to make it public like I was talking to you before or do you want to do it later? It's up to you, however you want to do it. You can go to your channel dashboard and always manage it. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show that I promised was what it looks like from a viewer's perspective. So here is a screenshot. I didn't really have anybody's event that I wanted to go into. So here's a screenshot of Jonathan Tripp live. It's Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern. Go check him out, a lot of fun. One thing I wanted to show is that Jonathan made his uh, description a little bit longer, and you can see what he did. Each link in there is clickable. And then the other thing I wanted to make sure you saw was there's the camera icon. Now, I'm on camera, and you can see with my masterful screen capture skills, my big serious face making sure I screen captured correctly, Tim went to be a ghost, and Jonathan's paying attention to something else. So I'm already on, so it's a goldenrod yellow. If it was not, if I had not done it, then it would be a gray outline of that same camera icon. But once you click it, that's it. You can never not unclick or, or click it again to be, so if you're a guest and then you go off camera and then you want to go back on, uh, the only way that you can get back on is that John, you have to let Jonathan know in the chat, hey, I'd like to come back on, and Jonathan just clicks on your name and clicks on that invite guest. But that's, that's basically it. I hope you found something useful in here, this brief overview. Thanks so much for still hanging out with me to the very end. I think that you're awesome. And I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking this link right here. And I'd love to have you subscribe to me on Fire Talk. And you can do that by clicking and going to my URL and just go, clicking on subscribe. Thanks a lot. If there's anything else that you'd like to let, uh, know or anything, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, have a great day and make sure that you always try to be someone's miracle.